What's going on everybody? For Animal Pack, I'm Evan Santapani, and today we're gonna go over lean mass nutrition, right? What does that mean? It means you wanna put on some quality muscle without copious amounts of body fat. For those of you who have been following me for any amount of time, you know that I like to keep it simple. I'm a big believer in the basics. I adhere to fundamental principles. I don't look to cheat the system. I don't buy into trends, okay? And I don't look for hacks. The current climate on social media is littered with all the above, right? How can you cheat it? How can you incorporate a hack? How can you get away with doing less than really you know is required? <laughs> if your goal is to get as big and strong as you can be, or if your goal is to get in the shape of your life, it's not gonna come without some serious effort. You need to resign yourself to that fact, first and foremost, all right? Just rather than looking to cheat the system, instead of asking yourself, what can I get away without doing? The real question you should be asking yourself is, what more can I do? What else can I do to bring myself closer to my goal? What more can I be doing to be the best that I can absolutely be? That's the attitude, not what can I get away with? Let's delve into the basics. The basics consist of, before you even decide, okay, I want to add lean mass, you need to do the most fundamental things well, right? Now I'm talking the bare minimum. One thing that's lost on a lot of people is they have lofty goals. The thing that they fail to embrace is before they're gonna accomplish lofty goals, they need to be doing the most fundamental things really well first. What are those things? You need to be getting a good amount of sleep each night, right? Uh, eight hours of sleep is a luxury for a lot of people don't have the time, they're working, they need to get up early, they've got kids, I'm in the same boat, all right? But I take a little bit of time each night, maybe I catch half an hour of TV, I like to watch Jeopardy, <laughs> and then it's lights out, I get to bed. Hydration, all right? Something so, so basic, and you would be shocked how many people, okay? I bet you some of you watching right now are guilty of it. You don't consume enough water throughout the day. Think about that. You have goals, you have aspirations of gaining more muscle, but you're not even covering the most fundamental thing. You've got to do that. Let's talk diet. All right. Again, I keep it simple. I'm a big believer in whole foods. I'm a big believer in supplements as well. Okay. But supplements are there to do just that, to supplement. When it comes to the diet, all right, the whole if it fits your macros things and some of these other gimmicks, uh, whether it's following a carnivore diet, a vegan diet, so on and so forth, I'm not into it, okay? I strive for balance. I believe that we are omnivores. I believe that we benefit from a variety of different food sources. I do believe that we're meant to consume meat. That's my personal belief. Don't kill me. So I look to the most basic things. I include chicken, fish, steak, whole eggs. Boom, there's my protein sources. When it comes to carbohydrates, I stick really to just rice and potatoes, maybe a little bit of oats. Boom, there's my carb sources. When it comes to fats, I'm getting fats from the whole eggs. I love olive oil, I like nuts, and that's mainly it, okay? So on top of that, I do believe in a lot of leafy green vegetables, and I probably have an apple a day, maybe a little bit of berries, all right? I'll give you a quick formula that I think you would be able to uh, kind of get on the right track with, and you could maybe adjust it from there. But if you were to start with just your body weight, right? I'm 200, say, well, I'm 260, but let's just say I'm 250 pounds. 250 pounds, I take my body weight and I multiply it times one and a half, right? So one and a half, 250 times one and a half is 375, right? So I would get in 375 grams of protein a day, 375 grams of carbohydrates a day, and I would also be looking to get in an equal amount of calories from fats. So I would take 375, multiply it times four, don't know what that number is, whatever that comes out to, I would then divide it by nine. And that would give me the number of grams of fats that I would be consuming each day. What that gives me is a one to one to one calorie ratio. Now I think for most people, that is a really, really great place to start. And I would divvy it up over five meals. Now, some of you, you know, you have certain jobs. Maybe you're working a manual labor job. You don't have time to sit down and eat a meal. Even if you sit at a desk, you work in an office. 
you might not be able to pull food out throughout the day and eat. While I do believe that food, um, whole food is first and foremost, that it is the best, the use of uh, meal replacements, protein powders, etc. nothing wrong with it, okay? If it's, a di if it's the difference between eating or not eating, hitting your macros and not hitting your macros, those should absolutely be utilized. Animal whey, animal meal, they're absolutely your ally, okay, in this. Let's talk supplements while we're on it, right? Animal pack, massively important foundational product. I'm gonna cover the bases, your micronutrients, your vitamins, your minerals. Animal omega, I'm gonna hit cover the bases for your essential fatty acids. Outside of that, if, you know, joints are feeling a little beat up, Animal Flex, great product. People ask me all the, all the time, if I was gonna use one product in the gym, what would I use? Now, <laughs> I may be dating myself, okay, but I'm, I came up in the 90s, right? The late 90s was when I was really getting serious into weightlifting and creatine was it. Very, very hard to get your hands on and crazy expensive, all right? For good reason, it works. Even to this day, there've been all sorts of things that have hit the market since then. Pre-workout products, pump products, um, pro-hormones, all sorts of products. Many of them very good, some of them garbage. Not one of them, okay, has been studied as extensively and proven as effective as creatine. That's my 101, okay? I keep it simple, I don't buy into fads, I go with what works, and in the gym, nothing is gonna beat creatine. Boom, there you have it. Simple, effective, to the point. I wish you guys lots of luck, as always. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys soon.